these are the new highlights. The ones that I said I picked up in the last video are the Valenti Black Editions. Now I got these second hand from a friend of mine. So there they are, Valenti Black Edition with the sequential indicator. So the sequential relay is built in. You can just turn it off with the switch if you want it sequential or not. So I'm gonna pop these in and wash the car. It's done nothing but rain the last few days. So I haven't really had a chance to wash it. So I'll wash the car. No, sorry, I'll put the tail lights in and then I'll wash the car. And then we'll go see what Greg's doing. So these are the cable connectors that I used on the old tail lights to get the rear fog light to work. So that's the connector from the old tail lights. And this runs down to the fog light. So I need to disconnect these and reconnect them on the new tail lights. That's pretty much all I need to do on that side and the other side. It's just as simple as unplugging it. So get stuck into removing these as carefully as possible because I need to reuse them on the new ones. So I hooked up the new one with the old clips, tested it. It seems to be working fine, so just chuck this this one in here and then that's it, all done. Give the car a wash. So that's all done then. Tail lights are in, car is washed. I'll give you a look at these tail lights, they look pretty awesome. Done. I'm gonna meet up with Greg. Let's see what's happening. So I just realized as I'm editing this video that I forgot to end it. Uh, I did end up meeting up with Greg at the end of that video, but something happened to the front lip of my car on the way there. You'll find out what that was in the next episode and what we did to fix it. Uh, all I'll say is that the car is probably a bit too low. Um, sorry, this video wasn't any longer, I guess. It's not the first time we've done the tail light so it didn't really need to be very in depth but thanks for watching anyway and stay tuned for the next video peace out